Well, unfortunately, some people have been in this situation or even thought this about is, what if this situation happened which where is so scary. your loved one is in trouble and they desperately call you for help. The reality, though, is that the voice on the phone, it's not really your loved one. It's not your friend. You're being scammed because of artificial intelligence. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello shares a frightening look at this troubling trend Oh my. <laughs> yeah, troubling because we're not talking about the manipulation of words that you actually say. Instead, just a three second sample of your voice is all a scammer needs and they know exactly where to find it. It's two o'clock in the morning. You're fast asleep, but jarred awake by your ringing phone and you answer. On the other end, help me. It's your daughter and she's in trouble. Mom, please help. I just got robbed. Or is she? We're in the business of protecting the consumer. Greg Bowl is the chief data officer for TNS Communications. You see the work his company does to tag potentially problematic calls to your cell phone all the time. So when I get a phone call that says spam likely, that's you? That's us. His company processes some 1.2 billion calls calls each day to try and keep bad actors from accessing you. But those actors are making advancements that put your voice in the leading role, all thanks to artificial intelligence. Steve, you're a really popular guy on the internet, right? They can take your voice, it's everywhere. Take a clip, they can record it, then they'll manipulate it and have your voice create a sentence to do anything they want it to do. But here's the real danger. Greg says we're not talking about uh, this pit that I told Michelle Pfeiffer that White Gold. This popular YouTube mashup of President Obama he showed us edited to make it sound like he's reciting song lyrics. This is the extraction of your tone and cadence to artificially generate your voice to speak sentences you never uttered. So how convincing is it? So convincing that we're using the software right now to tell you this story. This isn't audio I recorded. It's my voice artificially generated. And if you're thinking, well, I'm not a newscaster, my voice isn't on the internet. Think again. Capturing a recording of your voice is far easier than you realize. Everybody likes the custom voicemail that says, hey, it's me, you know, leave a message. Guess what? That's greater than three seconds. I can take that clip from your voicemail and duplicate it and put you in a very bad situation. Bull used his own daughter as an example. Here's her voice in a TikTok video. Look, at this delicious crunch roll. Isn't it just to die for? Here's that same voice sample manipulated by AI. Mom, please help. I just got robbed. Help me. Here's me. Source audio. There's actually a real psychology behind decluttering your space. AI. If I've been in a bad accident, like give this guy some money so I can go to the hospital. Sounds just like you. I mean, listen, and if my mom got that phone call, I guarantee you, I mean, she'd have her checkbook open. Bull says the most susceptible are the elderly and parents because scammers prey on highly charged, confusing, or high stress situations. They'll attack our emotions. And it's working. According to the Federal Trade Commission, last year consumers got duped of more than $11 million to fake voice scams. How can you stop it? My recommendation to a consumer is think about a safe word for your family that only you and your family knows. A simple solution for sound or sleep. Yeah, that safe word, an easy way to identify whether or not it's actually your loved one on the other end of the phone. These AI manipulations, by the way, are processed in real time, which means scammers can carry on actual conversations with you, even create answers to your custom questions. Oh my gosh, this makes a warrior oh, like crazy. me like over the top. That <laughs> sounded exactly like okay, you. So family meeting tonight family and meeting. we will be chatting about our Boy, no and, kidding. And I just I think it bears repeating because I even said to the guy, listen, our viewers are gonna say, You're a newscaster. Of course we can do this to you. Our folks are not on TikTok, they're not on Facebook, they're not on Instagram, they're not creating no. reels and stories. He said, But I'll bet you they've got an outgoing voicemail, and you know what? I'll That's all it do. takes. That's all it takes. Oh <laughs> all it takes. Wow. Okay, that's scary. I'm speechless. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Steve. Yeah. No, seriously, I mean, thank you. I, well, Damn. family meeting tonight Boy, for everyone. No